What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope everyone is doing well out there. Happy Friday to you guys. So guys, this morning I went to CarMax. I wanted to look at some minivans. I got on the CarMax website prior to going, and I wanted to see what was available. Uh, a Dodge, I, wanted, I was looking for specifically a 2019 Dodge Grand Caravan. Now, the reason why I was looking for that particular year and that particular minivan is because I researched and found that Dodge, the 2019 Dodge Grand Caravan got the highest rating uh, out of the Dodge years for uh, their minivan. So I said, okay, I'm going to try and look for that particular year. So, <clears throat> Y'all see that toothpaste? That wasn't from today. This just didn't come out in, in, in the wash. Well, anywho, I went today and um, went up to the, the front desk or wherever, the, the greeting station, and told them what I was there, why I was there. And they asked me to go over and sit in the waiting area and a sales associate would be with me. So I went over to the sales, I mean, to the uh, waiting area and I was waiting there for 20 minutes and no one came over. So I decided to get up and leave. So I left and when I was in my car, I thought to myself, okay, this must be a sign for me that I don't need at this point in time to buy another vehicle. This was a sign for me to keep the vehicle that I have and expand from the vehicle that I have. I'm honestly beginning to not even want a travel trailer. I'm, I, I don't want, I don't know what it is right now because you know what? You know what guys? <clears throat> when you decide, if you're deciding on this lifestyle or you're thinking about this lifestyle, I now honestly believe that the first thing that you should do is decide what is decide how you're going to live this lifestyle. It makes a difference. Before you choose a vehicle, decide how you're going to live this lifestyle. As you guys very well know now, I am falling more and more in love with the whole campground lifestyle. I just now spent almost two weeks at a campground. It was so much fun, peaceful, quiet. I told you guys in my yesterday video, I love the balance of being, a, uh, being able to socialize with people and also my getting my me time in there. And I can see myself next year, or maybe some more this year, campground lifestyle is going to become a big part of the way that I live and my travels. So I'm thinking, okay, you don't need any of those things. You don't need any of those things. And I know for a lot of you in my yesterday video, you mentioned that, oh, I should invest in a, a roof rack and a storage uh, luggage or whatever that is on top of the roof and I thought you know what I don't even want that I don't even want that when I camp when I go camping I put things in my car from my storage unit take things out of my car back into my storage unit when I'm done camping that's what I do you know I don't need a storage unit on top of my roof just to do that. And those things, they don't even hold my long things like the uh, the, the gazelle uh, or like the, uh, the the gazelle gazebo. That, those things wouldn't hold that, fit that, or or the uh, canopy. I don't, I don't want that. I don't want that. What I'd rather have on top of my roof since I now have a really good idea that campgrounding and RV parks are going to be a huge part of my travels and my stay, I thought to get one of these. This 
This is what I'm thinking about getting. It's a rooftop tent. Now, before you guys go all crazy on me, it's a thought, okay? It's a thought. Because I'm thinking, if I had one of these on top of my roof, that would eliminate, first of all, it would give me a much bigger space to sleep. That's the first thing. Second of all, it would free up my entire car to load stuff in when I'm camping. And if I'm in travel, if I'm going from one place to another, I don't have to take anything out of my car. You know, I can just go from one place to the next. And the things that I have in my car, I can just take it out just as I did this past camping visit. Now, those things, they are pricey. They are like, I didn't see any of them that was less than uh, $1,600, but some of them have coupons on them where you can get $200 off, $300 off. And based on my experience, my last campground experience and that hard rain, I would definitely, definitely want one like this that has the hard shell on it. But this is what I'm talking about. I think I think now I'm just moving towards the idea of expanding from what I have as opposed to spending thousands and thousands of dollars for a new uh, vehicle. Because first and foremost, number one, I'm going to reiterate this, it's not that important for me to stand. I've mentioned that many, many times on, on our channel. Um, it's not important for me to be able to stand. Second of all, the bed that I have in my car right now, especially my just now upgrading my bed and getting a four inch and then adding a two inch to that to make it six inch, which by the way, I sleep very, very good on that six inch mattress. Um, if I don't sleep well, it's not because of the mattress. It's just because like many of you suggested before when I couldn't sleep throughout the night that things are on my mind and it's keeping me up and it will be for that type of reason. But the mattress itself, it's wonderful. It is wonderful. So that's not a problem for me. Sleeping in the car on that mattress is not a problem for me. So that would not be a reason why I would go or need to get another vehicle. So with that being said, the two main things, being able to not being able to stand and I have a nice bed, I really don't see any reason for me to get another vehicle. I love the idea that my vehicle is paid for. I mean, it's great, you know? I love the idea that I am debt free. Again, it's great. And I'm really trying to get in a mindset of not doing something because I want to do something, but do something because I need to do something. And right now, there's no need for me to have a larger vehicle, you know? I try my best and this has always been a motto of mine is to stay out of the vehicle as more than you are in the vehicle. And getting more and more into this campground lifestyle, you know, that's exactly what I'll be doing. I'll be staying out of my vehicle more so than in my vehicle. And the other thing that I like about getting something like uh, a rooftop tent is I wouldn't have to worry about putting anything away or when I travel, let's say by a plane, I can take that off, put it in my storage unit, put it back on my roof when I return, and that will be it, you know? It's just right now, I'm, I'm really in the mindset or getting more and more in the mindset of, you know, how can I keep what I have and just expand around it, you know? I know it's great. You guys see a lot of van dwellers who go from this, start off with this small vehicle and then get this type of vehicle and then this type of vehicle. But this, the setup that I have, it, it works for me. 
it works for me. I still love the idea that it's a normal looking SUV. I, I do need to get my tendals, my windows tinted though, but there's no need to do it now because we are a couple months away from starting to the weather change and I'm gonna have panels up in my windows whenever I'm up here. I honestly don't even know if I'm going to spend winter up here. I know I'm going to be up here excuse me i know that i'm going to be up this way until at least the holidays pass um, christmas and thanksgiving and then from there going into the new years um, i'm almost certain not sure yet and the reason why i'm not 100 percent certain is because i still have not yet did enough research on campgrounds that are south that i could possibly uh stay during the winter time but I'm almost certain that I'm not going to be up here in the harsh, harsh of winter, in the dead of winter. So to me, I'm just, I'm just going to expand from what I have. Um, I'm loving the campground idea. I really am. And I don't want to spend unnecessary money. Even though based on some comments, people think that I'm buying a bunch of crap over and over again <laughs> and then one woman agreed with her that oh yes i agree i mean and i'm I, I just say to myself okay who whose money is it why oh my god oh my god you know just let me enjoy my life okay for those very few people who who thinks that I'm spending my money in the wrong way. Just let me enjoy my life. If I waste some money, then I waste some money. You know, you, you, you just have to do things and try different things. And it requires you to spend money to try different things, you know? So just, can I just enjoy my life now? I mean, what's the whole point of me having all of this freedom if I can't enjoy my life, you know? And that's going to be, you know, in some cases, me wasting money. I mean, it's not intentional. I'm just one of those people that keep on trying things until I feel like I got it right. I mean, if anything, you should know that about me and how many times I've done this and done that and done this and done that, you know? I'm gonna keep on trying and evolving and at my own pace to get things the way that I want them that are suitable for my needs. A lot of people I think miss that. A lot of people I think respond and comment on what their needs may be and not my needs and what I like and what I'm trying to do for myself. You know, that might be what you want, but it's not what I want. And it's okay because we have different needs and different wants. But, you know, it tickles me now when I get a comment like that. I'm like, okay, well, it's not a waste to me. It's all, some things are trial and error. But anyway, guys, that is what I'm thinking about getting. I'm thinking about getting a rooftop tent um, that will provide me lots more space to sleep than inside of my car. It will free up my entire car to load things and and um, pack up things for traveling and uh, road trips and stuff of that nature. So that's gonna do it. Uh, Lamont is coming tomorrow. Uh, I pick him up around two o'clock, a little after two tomorrow. Um, and then on Sunday, we are going to head down to Fort Lauderdale. I have allowed myself three full days to make it down to South, uh, for, to make it down to Fort Lauderdale. It is going to be a trip that I'm going to slowly do because I'm starting to realize that, um, I don't want to be driving eight hours and 10 hours and stuff like that when I don't have to when I can just make my own schedule of getting from one place to another, you know, there's no hurry. So I'm going to take three days, not sure where those uh, stopping points are going to be, 
you know, whenever um, I'm ready to stop driving for the day, I'm just going to look up the closest place to stay overnight and then pick up and start driving some more the next day. So guys, um, that's going to do it today. I just wanted to share my thoughts with you. And a lot of people say, Anthony, you always just, you know, you keep coming up next thing. You wanted a, cur a conversion van. You wanted a minivan. You wanted a cargo van. You wanted a, a Ford Transit Connect. You wanted a Pro Master. Understand that all of these things are about me exploring my options. It's not about me keeping on, keep changing my mind every five minutes and this and that. It's just me exploring all of my options. It's so crazy when you have a lot of options. It's almost as crazy as when you only have one or two options. But now that I have many, many options, you know, it, that can drive you nuts sometime as well. So it's just, it's just me exploring my options and coming on here and sharing those options, sharing those thoughts with you guys. That's all, that's all it's about. It's not about, you know, I'm indecisive or any of that. I'm just exploring my options and sharing my thought process with you guys. So with that being said, thank you guys for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.